They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. Let's go fly over your Damsel in distress class is in session. Now, damsels, when you get rescued by your prince, you want to look your best. Oh, gag. Like I'm gonna be worried about my hair if I'm about to become Dragon Chow. Well, if I... <laughs> That roar might have been dragons breathing down your necks if you are not paying better attention. So, looking demure and harmless is our first line of defense? Rule 23. A damsel retains the element of surprise at all times. Oh, very good, darling. A plus as usual. Our guest hero today will be darling's big brother. Daring Charming. Oh, Daring, Daring Charming. Charming. Yay, Daring. Darling, be a dear and go fetch your brother. Why, certainly. What is she doing? She's supposed to find the hero of the story. It may be that she just did. Oh, save me. Or whatever. Really? Is this going to be on the midterm? <gasps> the Dragon of Withering Heights is coming to get us all! There's a level 5 dragon alert! Darling, this seems to be happening more and more, and I don't know why. Be glad you're a damsel, little sis. See what us heroes have to put up with. <laughs> you poor thing. Class dismissed. <laughs> Raven. Apple. Raven. Apple. Apple and Raven had a problem. As co-editors, the girls would have to agree on a shared vision for the yearbook. And lately, they couldn't even agree to disagree. Apple. Raven. Why can't you two figure out how to be friends? There has to be a way. There is a way. In Wonderland, we would have a duel. A croquet duel. Ooh. Whoever wins the game becomes the senior editor. The other must relinquish power. I'll do it, if you will. You're on. Mallets at dawn! Apple, Raven, you know the rules. I make them up as you go along. Maddie, you are Raven's wicket keeper. Bunny, you are with Apple. The ball must pass through the wicket to score. Now turn, walk ten paces, and swing your mallet. Picture perfect. Too bad you wouldn't want a shot of that in the yearbook. Apple, why? <gasps> well, if you ask me, this is more memorable. Big tension! It's all about showing us at our best. Like this shot of our faithful wicket keepers. More like wicket sleepers. <laughs> well, the winner will decide. Fine. Let's finish this. A tie! Present 
presenting the yearbook co-editors, Apple and Raven. That's it. I'm off to bed. See ya. I knew you could work things out. With you guys in charge, it's going to be the best yearbook ever. I'll do it, if you will. You're on. Perhaps the girls still don't see eye to eye. But at least they're on the same page. It's the first day of spring at Ever After High. Love is in the air. And so is pollen. Uh, oh! <laughs> I'd better get my inhaler. <laughs> Who'd think a little hay fever could cause such big trouble? Huh? Cupid must have lost these awesome bow and arrows. I'd better find her. Hello, targets. Cupid probably won't mind if I try one shot. Bullseye! Huh? Third time's a charm. <laughs> Little did Hunter know, Cupid's arrows are heart-seeking. Love is a funny thing. <laughs> ah, uh. You never know where it will strike. for helping out on the yearbook in your free period, you guys. Great work. I hope you're as excited as I am. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Doc! Whoa! This place has gone lovesick! It's like a plague of <laughs> loviness! <gasps> ah, much better. <gasps> I think Hunter has something of yours, Cupid. You're welcome. <gasps> Hunter? Um, couldn't you use your arrows to love potion everybody back to normal? You can't stop love. It's a force of nature. <gasps> but, oh, I have an idea. Listen up. You've all been infected with love fever. <laughs> Lucky for us, there's lots of kinds of love. These mood roses should help. Mood roses are an amazing flower only cherubs like Cupid can grow. They'll change color according to what kind of love the recipient really and truly feels. Yellow means friendship. Red means romance. Pink means meant to be together forever after. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. You're a trial, you rebel, you more than one together. However you go, ever and ever after high. Raven Queen, what evil act are you going to perform for this year's talent show? No, 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 Miss Queen. This music is too nice. If you will not give a performance suitable to a student of your destiny... Since my story didn't exactly go poof, I think it's safe to change it up. <laughs> Do something, you know, not evil. Nevertheless, Sparrow Hood has already signed up to play the guitar. Sparrow's gonna show you a big time... But I've been practicing my guitar solo for a month. Practice is for losers. Oh! Ah, bring it on like fairy song. Oh, I mean. That's more evil. Do 
anything evil. <laughs> but sometimes, you gotta let your bad side out! So evil! It pays to practice. Work here. You just keep plugging away, haircut boy. Don't mind me. Hey there, aren't you Fabel Thorne, the head cheerleader at Ever After High? What are you doing working? I'm not working. See, I just snuck in here to snoop around, get some info. You catch my drift? But why? Oh, you know, only because my mom is the dark fairy, the one who wasn't invited to Sleeping Beauty's big birth bash, so she cursed the poor sweet babe to sleep for a hundred years. I just want to fulfill my destiny as the baddest fairy of them all. So how about it, handsome? Lend a girl a hand. Handsome? Uh, oh no. I would delight in assisting you in your quest, fair yeah. maiden. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, hey there, little fella. An invitation? I wonder who it's from. Ashlyn Ella. You and a guest are cordially invited to the Blue Moon Forest Fest. Tonight, the Forest Fest? <gasps> That's like the most exclusive party ever. You can't even find it without an invitation. It says I get to invite someone. Do you want to go? Of course, but the new multi-hex theater opens tonight, and I promised I'd see a movie with daring. <laughs> but it should be easy finding someone. I mean, who wouldn't kill to be your plus one to the Blue Moon Forest Fest? <gasps> Looks like it's time to crash the biggest party ever after. I always get lots of good to get it. <laughs> One large coffee thing with caramel stuff and some whip whatever on the house. And wouldn't you know, it's always been my biggest dream to go to a forest fest. Oh, well, I was hoping I could go. Wait, if you're here, then... <gasps> Wanted to pick me up, not to knock me over. Love triangles at Ever After High can get oh, awkward. Yes, awkward. Raven, your lap partner for this week's assignment is Sparrow. Uh... Sweet, you can do all the work while I rock and roll. Excellent. And Cupid, you are with Dexter. Yes! I mean, because uh, you're so smart. You know, Dexter, he's so smart. That's what they say. <laughs> I know what I have to do. Hey, Cupid. What's wicked? There's something really important I want to tell you uh, about Dexter. <gasps> what in the kingdom? Oh, it's nothing bad. Briar, what happened? I tried dragon riding. <laughs> Good thing I was wearing my parachute. It's, it's just, just I want to switch lab partners because <sighs> Dexter has a crush on you. Hey, Cupid. This won't take long. I just called Raven and told her that you... Oh, no! No, it's okay. She's really happy about it. That was a close one. You and Raven are gonna be great together. I know it in my heart. Hey, Cupid, Cupid. What sorry what are you about trying yesterday. To tell me? I'm so happy we worked everything out. Now you'd better get to work. <laughs> that potion isn't gonna brew itself. <laughs> Cupid, awesome. You can mix me up a love potion. Oh, oh. And so it looks like this love triangle isn't ending anytime soon. I'm guessing not forever after. They told you everything.
everything was waiting for you They told you everything was set in stone But now you're feeling like a different ending Sometimes you gotta find it on your own It's an open book 